I was driving up the road and came across this empty piece of land and the fog is real thick on this landscape. So um, I parked the car and hiked out and trying to make something happen. I feel like I might be forcing it a little bit uh, because the atmosphere is so amazing right now with the, with the low fog. Um, there's a lot of separation in the landscape from the foreground, mid, middle ground to the, to the background. So some decent opportunities for, uh, for photographs. So uh, we'll see what we get. I'm trying to uh, not force it so much. So I'm gonna keep walking around and seeing uh, what else we come across. But uh, I got a decent scene here. I have this like lone tree in the middle um, with the backgrounds all kind of covered in fog. So it's some good separation and we have some nice foreground here. So we'll see. I don't know if you can see, but right here we have these kind of trees that are up or arching kind of across from each other and kind of creating like a bit of like a half circle right here. So that's what I'm kind of focusing on, but ow, some thorny bushes. Um, I just know, I just don't think I'm getting, making it work. I'm gonna try one more here. Well, the atmosphere is amazing today. We have a, a low fog, but it's slowly starting to lift, which is kind of stressing me out because the lighting the atmosphere is perfect for photographs, but I'm not finding anything right now. I'm gonna keep hiking down this trail and see if I've come across anything. Uh, probably do another mile in, and uh, if nothing pops out, I'm gonna head back out and try somewhere else, so. Oh, my lens is fogging up. The fog is so thick in here. Um, it's creating a cool vibe, but there's no light at all. So I brought my own strobe in to light this tree and kind of just play with mixed lighting with uh, some balancing kind of, or I'm somewhat underexposing the strobe um, or underexposing the available light and exposing it for the strobe to kind of make this tree really pop out from this the backdrop the backdrop is just pure white you know there's like this like white gray there's no definition there's nothing there at all but the strobe hitting the tree i'm able to expose for the light on the tree and underexpose the backdrop and kind of just create a different separation light wise dang it's getting windy All right, so I'll keep moving the strobe around, just trying to light the tree from different angles, try to create some different uh, dynamics and uh, light textures and just create a different mood entirely. So I put the strobe a little bit further behind the tree, so I'm gonna kind of try to side backlight a little bit and just see what happens, just kind of playing around right now, just pretty much painting with light, which is kind of fun. That's looking a lot better, but now I got the strobe just slightly in the in the frame. All right, so I'm gonna pull the strobe back a bit. All right, I just put the strobe a little further back behind the tree and we'll see what happens. All 
I'm getting out of here. I have all my gear packed up and still damp with fog. Everything is pretty darn wet. Um, decent day, I've been shooting since about seven this morning. All the way until sundown, it's about, I think 6.20 now. So uh, yeah, I'm glad it came out. Gonna have to do a deep uh, camera clean when I get back because both cameras are completely soaked. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.